This how-to video will show you the special function keys available on your Hamilton C1 and how to use them. You can use exactly the same information if you are operating a Hamilton T1 or Hamilton MR1 ventilator. The keys on the front of the ventilator give you access to some important functions, including entering standby mode and pausing the audible alarm. You should be able to complete the whole module in less than eight minutes. Let's start with the power standby key, which is what you use to turn on the ventilator. You can use the same key during active ventilation to stop ventilation. Just press the power standby key, and when the pre-standby window opens, touch the activate standby button. Ventilation stops. To resume mechanical ventilation with all the previous settings, just press the power standby key again, or touch the Start Ventilation button. Once you've started the ventilator, all the function keys are ready for use. To switch quickly between the display's two different brightness levels, press the Day-Night key. When the night setting is active, you'll see that the green indicator light next to the key is lit. You can always change the current settings for both brightness levels. Touch Systems and then select Settings. In the Day and Night window, you can adjust the display brightness for each mode, Day and Night. If you prefer the display brightness to adapt dynamically to the ambient light, simply touch the Automatic button. If your Hamilton T1 has the NVG option installed, you can set the display brightness for use with night vision goggles. When the NVG setting is active, the day-night key switches between the night and NVG settings and the green indicator light next to the key is lit. To prevent information from being entered accidentally, you can lock the touchscreen. When the green indicator next to the key is lit, you know that the screen lock is active. If you touch the screen, this will generate an audible beep and a screen lock active message will be displayed. Even when screen lock is active, some device controls like the manual breath keys and oxygen enrichment, alarm silence, still remain available. Others, like the power standby and print screen keys, or even the P&T knob, are inactive. If you need to perform an inspiratory hold maneuver or deliver an extra breath manually, you can use this key. To deliver a manual breath, just press and release the key during exhalation. The ventilator will use the mandatory breath settings. To perform an inspiratory hold, press and hold down the key during any breath phase. The device maintains the inspiration pressure until you release the key or for a maximum of 15 seconds. If you want to increase the oxygen concentration temporarily, you can press the Oxygen Enrichment key. For the adult pediatric patient group, the Hamilton C1 delivers 100% oxygen for a maximum of 2 minutes. You can always see the oxygen concentration currently being applied, as well as a countdown timer. If you want to stop the oxygen enrichment earlier, just press the key again. The ventilator resets the concentration to the value previously set. Of course, you can always make ongoing changes to the oxygen concentration using the oxygen control. You can also use the O2 enrichment key to help you perform suctioning maneuvers. This function implemented in your ventilator not only makes suctioning easier, but ensures the patient's safety and protects the operator from possible contamination as well. Start by pressing the oxygen enrichment key for pre-oxygenation. The oxygen concentration increases for a maximum of two minutes. As soon as you disconnect the patient for the suctioning maneuver, ventilation stops automatically. No gases are blown through the tubes, so you are protected from possible contamination and alarms remain suppressed for one minute. Once you've finished the maneuver, reconnect the patient to the ventilator and the post-oxygenation phase starts. All acoustic alarms are suppressed for one minute more. 
If needed, you can always terminate the pre- and or post-oxygenation maneuver at any time. The nebulization feature allows you to deliver nebulized drugs to adult and pediatric patients through the ventilator circuit. You can use a standard inline pneumatic nebulizer. Connect it to the inspiratory limb of the breathing circuit if you are using a heated breathing circuit or between the breathing circuit and flow sensor if using a coaxial set. This will depend on your institution's policy and procedures. The ventilator provides a stable pressure source to power a pneumatic nebulizer connected to the nebulizer port. Once activated, the fixed nebulizer flow is synchronized with the inspiratory phase of each breath for 30 minutes. To stop nebulization earlier, simply press the nebulizer key again. As the ventilator uses 100% of oxygen to power the nebulizer, be aware that nebulization affects the oxygen concentration delivered to the patient. Nebulization with a pneumatic nebulizer is available in all ventilation modes, except during neonatal ventilation or when using high-flow oxygen therapy. Whenever you need to save the current ventilator screen for any reason, you can use the print screen function. Firstly, insert a USB stick. And when the desired screen appears, just press the print screen key. A JPEG file of the current ventilation screen is saved to the screenshot folder on the USB stick. You'll see that the green indicator next to the key is lit while the device is saving the image. Wait until the green LED is off before removing the USB stick. To silence an alarm, just press the alarm silence key. Alarm silence is activated for two minutes. When alarm silence is active, the red indicator next to the key is lit continuously and a countdown timer shows you the remaining silence time. If the alarm condition persists after the two minutes have passed, the audible alarm resumes. To stop ventilation and enter the standby mode, or to switch off the ventilator, just press the power standby key. Once the pre-standby window opens, touch the activate standby button. To turn off the ventilator, press and hold the power standby key for about three seconds. This educational video does not replace the relevant instructions for use. Be sure to read the ventilator operator's manual, as well as instructions for use that accompany the humidifier or other devices, breathing circuits, and other consumables. Pay particular attention to important safety and hygiene information.